And welcome back to more Sonic Generations! Last time, we defeated the Egg Dragoon and got the final Chaos Emerald. So this time, we're going to see what's behind this portal. Okay, whatever you are! If you want to avoid an embarrassing beatdown, you better give up now! You're not in a position to demand anything, you nasty little pincushion! Eggman! But how? He had a little help. Dr. Robotnik! Nobody calls me that anymore. If you would be so kind as to explain, gentleman genius Dr. Eggman from the future. It will be my pleasure, most excellent and efficacious Dr. Eggman of the past. After my most recent setback, I stumbled upon the primordial form of this unique creation. Which I discovered had amazing abilities even I have never been able to master. It could erase time and space. I then had the brilliant idea to use my discovery to undo my previous defeats. In order to perfect it, I needed the help of somebody as smart as I am. The only person that smart is me. Oh, you are too kind, my dear future self. And I was happy to help. I captured your friends, flinging them through time to bait my traps. But the more your monster tears through time, the more damage you do to the world. The world? I'm going to own the world when I'm finished with Sonic! <laughs> <laughs> wow, will I really get that crazy? <laughs> we'll see who's crazy after I destroy both Sonics. Forever. You mean after we destroy them? Less arguing, more destroying. Destroy me? You and what mustache? I beat you all the time by myself, and now there's two of me. Then I'll have twice as much fun defeating you! Keep moving! Move all you want! I'm still going to stump you into a blue jelly! That was just to soften you up. Now it's time to meet your doom. Do it, Sonic! Come on, Sonic! Smack him! Ugh, not you! You got this, Sonic. You can win, Sonic. Who are they? They are insignificant. You've got the power, Sonic. Focus your spirit. We're with you guys. I believe in you, Sonic. Don't give in, Sonic! I know you can do this, Sonic! You can win, Sonic! You always do! Time to scramble some Eggman! Super Sonic style! And this is the final boss, the Time Eater. And it just so happens to be one of the worst parts of the entire game. <laughs> 
So this is not a good final boss and that's part of the reason why uh, they talk a lot about homing shots and it's really annoying. The other reason is it's very easy to run into debris and fall behind. So basically what we have to do is catch up to the Time Eater and boost into its core. Um, if you get hit by its, by its attacks or run into debris, you will slow down, uh, making it harder to keep up with it as your friends constantly talk about homing shots. Um, they will not stop saying that these are homing shots. Uh, and this is one of the most iconic things about this boss fight. Um, it's also just generally kind of ho-hum. Like, the game is so good, and yet this final boss is like always what I hear people criticize. Like, whenever I hear anything bad about this game, it's always that this boss is terrible. Um, or underwhelming at least. So we have to switch back and forth. Um, it's typically easier to get rings in 2D and actually defeat the boss in 3D. Uh, so this isn't great that we have to be in 3D right now, because uh, rings are harder to find. It's hard to even see the rings, which is kind of one of my big issues with this fight. Um, so once we get close to it, uh, a targeting reticle will appear. Uh, if you press A, you can throw the other Sonic at the core, but it doesn't do anything, so don't do that. Did that count? I don't think the first hit counts sadly, uh, or counted sadly, so that was only our second hit on the boss. Uh, so we need to deal one more hit, uh, and now is when the boss gets a lot more annoying, uh, because it actually gets a new attack. Uh, that's really annoying to deal with. Um, there's one attack that's like a giant laser, and I honestly have no idea how to dodge it. I've never dodged it. Um, so here... The boss can slow down time, which honestly doesn't do anything except waste time. Like, um, the boss isn't even attacking us right now. Um, I switched before they even told me to. Here's the laser. Uh, again, I have no idea how to dodge this. Um, I actually got out of the laser somehow. I actually don't know what happened there. More homing shots. Yeah, every time they uh, the boss uses a homing shot, they have to say that for some reason. <laughs> um, so let's get closer to the boss. There's the time attack again. Uh, overall, this is going pretty well, uh, all things considered, even though uh, we aren't doing particularly well um, in comparison to some of my best attempts. Um, Alright, so we have to dodge the arms again and go for the core once more. Still warm! <laughs> Time travel! I'll admit, you weren't half bad, Sonic! Half bad? Are you kidding? He was all great! He collects how many? Wow, where does somebody put all those gold rings? You know what? I don't know. I keep forgetting to ask. It was great teaming up with you. Hope you learned a few tricks that'll help you out in the future. I mean, the past. It, you know what I mean. Sweet! And you're only gonna get better! There's our ride! Hey, Sonic! 
Enjoy your future. It's gonna be great. And with that, we have reached the end of Sonic Generations. But of course, we're not done yet because we have quite a few challenges left over, and some other topics to go over. In general, I really like this game still. Uh, ten years later, it's still very fun to play through. Um, but unlike a lot of playthroughs where I end up liking a game the same or more than I originally did, this is actually a rare case where, where I ended up liking the game less than I originally did. So, um, having played through all three boost games up to this point within a span of under a year, um, I feel like I ended up liking Unleashed and Colors more after those playthroughs, but I also like this game a tad less. I still stand by this being really good and a very fun Sonic game, but I kind of miss some of the more charming aspects of Sonic Colors and Sonic Unleashed. Sonic Unleashed and Sonic Colors have more gameplay issues like the overabundance of Werehog sections in Unleashed and the overreliance on 2D sections in Colors. However, I think both games have a little bit more character and charm uh, with the writing and the storytelling um, and more heart to it. Uh, in this case, uh, Sonic Generations is a great game from a gameplay standpoint, but kind of falls flat in terms of everything else around the gameplay. Um, I also feel like, like I talked about before, the game is kind of front-loaded, where it starts really strong, and in the middle it's actually really good as well, like with, um, you know, City Escape through, like, Rooftop Run is pretty good, but then you get to, like, Planet Wisp and, uh, you know, Egg Dragoon, and then the Time Eater, and those aren't great, to be honest. Um, so yeah, in general, I still s still think this is a great game, just not quite as good as I remember it being, and I, I, th I think this is my second favorite of the Boost games, Colors now being my favorite. Um, Colors is probably, like, top 5 for me, um, I was thinking about this, and in general, my favorite Sonic games are uh, 2, 3 and Knuckles, and Mania. Um, and then for the 3D games, there's Adventure 2, uh, Colors, and Generations. And then after, um, Generations would probably be either SA1 or Unleashed. Uh, and then from there, who knows? It's kind of rocky from there, so I can't actually uh, decide. Um, so yeah, those are basically my favorite Sonic games, um, in general. I still really like this franchise a lot. I've been playing these games for almost 20 years now. Um, I first played the Sonic Mega Collection on the GameCube around 2003, and I've basically been a fan ever since, even though Sonic has had many highs and lows, like, you know, the storybook games and, uh, such. And yeah, in general, I do wish more content had been included uh, for some of the uh, less liked games. Again, like if Sonic 06 is here, like why isn't Shadow here? It's kind of in that gray area of a spin-off or not, I guess. Um, but in general, I, I kind of do wish um, something had been included for uh, Shadow, just because I think it would have been nice to have an extra level for Modern or for like the Dreamcast GameCube era. I also think, yeah, Secret Rings or Black Knight would have been great for an extra uh, modern stage. And then, yeah, like CD or Sonic 3 separately would have been cool for a classic. And yeah, then the 3DS version is all over the place uh, by having two stages from Adventure, the Adventure games, and two stages from Rush and uh, Colors to Yes, and totally ignoring the advanced games and. Uh, Rush Adventure, so the, the 3DS version is even more of a mess. Um, seeing Sonic Heroes in widescreen there makes me um, upset that we still don't have a modern port of this game. <laughs> I like Heroes more than most, and it's still upsetting to me that it's stuck on last gen, or not even last gen, but like two gens ago or something. Um, 
Oh, 06 as well, like, I would be fine with 06 getting me released just because I think it would be funny uh, to see it back compatible at a stable frame rate and with, like, uh, no load times. Like, Series X would be the best thing for this game because the load times would be, like, you know, 30 seconds to, or a minute to, like, you know, 10 seconds, which would make it a lot more tolerable. Um, so yeah, in general, I also like this uh, ending montage of all of the different Sonic games. You can actually fast forward the credits, by the way, if you hold down, I think it's A, um, it will speed up slightly. Um, and I think this is actually one of the only Sonic games that actually allow this. It's also one of the shorter credits, uh, because quite frankly, the credits have been getting very long for a while. Um, so it is nice to actually have this option. Um, we're at Unleashed though, so that means we're probably pretty close to the end of the credits. Um, only this and Sonic Colors left. Um, so yeah, in general, I still think this is a great game. It's playable on Steam. It often goes on sale for, like, uh, very cheap. Um, and it's also on Xbox. Series X would be a great place to play this, like, in 4K, even if it would still be at 30 frames per second, at least at the time of recording this. Um, so yeah, in general, I still recommend this game a lot. I think it's a great anniversary game, but it also kind of gets a pass for being an anniversary game because it definitely has some shortcomings um, in terms of like the story and things like that. Um, I was thinking about it, and similar to Colors, this game has also gotten worse with age because of um, problems starting here, like the over-reliance on Green Hill Zone. That kind of started from this game in Sonic uh, 4. Um, so in some ways this game actually holds up less well because of other games uh, relying on similar um, design elements and in some cases kind of um, running certain tropes into the ground a bit. Um, but yeah, overall I don't really hold it against this game too much though. Um, you know, while the sequels definitely make some bad calls, it's not this game's fault um, that the sequels don't capitalize well on what worked. And with that, we have this cool little ending montage of all of the different uh, Sonic games um, as the credits are winding down. So we're not done yet, we still have plenty more to do, but thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join me next time for more Sonic Generations. Sure, you saw a door over here? What? You were the one who said you saw a door over here! Well, I know it was one of us. Shut up and keep looking. What time is it? It's the exact same time as when you asked earlier, and it'll be the exact same time when you ask later. There is no time here! Let me just say that this was a brilliant plan that you came up with. Don't get too self-righteous. It'll be your plan pretty soon. I'm gonna dedicate the rest of my life to forgetting it. I heard that. Do we ever win? That depends on your definition of win. Beating Sonic. Oh. Well then, no. That doesn't give me much hope. Maybe I'll go back and get my teaching degree. That's not a bad idea. I've always enjoyed telling people what to do.